Here's what nobody is talking about and realizes with Damian Lillard. Over the last year and a half, the 30-year-old five-time All-Star has been trash-talked by Russell Westbrook, Paul George, Patrick Beverly, and Skip Bayless. You're about to see the history of Lillard responding to that disrespect, plus stick around to find out every record Dame Time's breaking in the bubble, as well as how much of a shot his Blazers have in the playoffs if they get to take on the Lakers. First, Nicholas Esmile earns the speak shout-out for saying Chris Paul's the clutchest player in the game, then he goes on to debunk the myth that Paul doesn't show up in the playoffs by pointing out how he beat the former title-winning Spurs and went up 3-2 on the Warriors before getting injured. Questions coming up for next video. Shout out, appreciate the best hoop stock community on YouTube. In January of 2019, during a game between the Thunder and Blazers, when Lillard was at the free throw line, here's what took place. <laughs> it won't be an under the ribs, man. If you can't read lips, Westbrook told Lillard, I've been busting that ass for years. And even though Russ would secure his 14th triple-double of the year and the Thunder took the 123-114 win, Russ would go on to deeply regret ever letting his emotions get the best of him in a mid-season game because even though he may have had a point that he'd gotten the better of Lillard in the past few seasons, Dame Time was about to get revenge on him in the biggest way possible. When four months later, OKC and Portland met up in the playoffs with series averages of 33 points, six assists on a ridiculous 47% from deep. Damian Lillard completely owned Russell Westbrook in a five-game mauling of the OKC Thunder. After the Brody poked the bear, there was no looking back for he and Paul George, who would feel the brunt of the revenge by getting one of the greatest game winners ever dropped on his head. Lillard and Westbrook have the fiercest rivalry of anyone in the league right now, as throughout the years, these two have had heated confrontations on a consistent basis. But few people seem to realize, one of which being Patrick Beverly, that not taking an absolute killer like Damian Lillard seriously and trash-talking him wasn't a good idea. Because since Lillard missed two free throws which would have beaten LA, and Patrick Beverly laughed at him on the bench, and none other than Paul George trash-talked him on Instagram, he's become the only player in Portland Trailblazer history to drop back-to-back 50-point -back games and then he dropped 42 points in the next game. He set some more records, which I'll get to, but specifically the 61-point Dame Time beasting on the Mavericks acted as a massive message of revenge pointed right at two Clippers. Hyped up after an emotional win against Dallas, Dame was shouting, put respect on my name, but that message wasn't only directed at his competitors on the court, but the man who spouts garbage for a living, Skip Bayless. Saving Lillard's biggest hater for last in this segment is the man who's built himself up off tearing NBA players down. To give you the full Bayless Lillard beef context, back on May 27th, Bayless said Lillard hadn't earned the right to speak like a face of the NBA when he said he wouldn't play in the bubble if the league didn't give the Blazers an opportunity to make the playoffs. After Bayless said this on Undisputed, Lillard tracked down Skip's number from other media members and had a heated text and phone conversation with him, and now we've got the full details on what happened in that discussion. As on Monday, August 10th, Bayless tweeted that he's still not buying Dame Time, then went on national television to reveal this. Tried to be civil with him, right. though he was clearly pretty agitated right. and angry with yeah. me. Yeah. But the first thing I explained to him was, yeah, I got really worked up. I was scathing in my commentary to you. We were in the middle of a pandemic, and I was starting to wonder if we were even going to be able to have this network sustain itself. I told him, yeah, I got over emotional. Now he's saying I backtracked, but that wasn't the guts of our conversation. I doubled down on the, the sort of basis of my commentary. What have you done to be that kind of spokesman for the league? And he said, well, I, since I came into the league, I've been one of the clutchest players in the league, blah, blah, blah. We go back and forth on and on. And I hung right in there with him and it started to get heated. Skip's literally backtracking about the comments he made on May 27th while imminently denying that he backtracked in his phone conversation with Dame. The night after this Twitter altercation went down was Lillard's 51 point game. But Skip wasn't satisfied the next morning. So, I will allow you to continue to stick your head in the sand <laughs> about Damian Lillard, but I'm not going to. Go ahead. Is he really that guy, Cap T, Cap G? Yeah. That guy. Yeah. Does he really have super in front of star in front of his neck? Absolutely. I don't see it. Then, shamefully saving face after the 61-point game, 
Bayless tried to take credit for the historic performance by saying, he seems like he's playing angry, but contributing to the broader point, the one thing that Russell Westbrook, Paul George, Patrick Beverly, and Skip Bayless have in common is that they've mocked Lillard and have subsequently been burned. However, on the court, whether it's this season, if Portland somehow finds a way past the Lakers, or next year, I'm predicting Dame gets even bigger revenge on George and Beverly. Overall, there's no one else in the game with the clutch killer mentality like Damian Lillard, whether down the stretch of games or in must wins. That's one of the reasons why he was near the top 10 of my clutch players list last video. After I show you the once in a lifetime outings Dame's been putting up, including the history he's breaking, click the top right to see exactly where he ranks in that video, but outstandingly becoming the only player other than Wilt Chamberlain ever to have three 60 plus point games within one regular season, Dame's also one of 10 all-time NBA greats to score 50-plus points 10 times in a season. Lillard's scoring tear during the seeding games is reason enough for him to be the bubble MVP favorite. With all due respect to Devin Booker and TJ Warren, Lillard leads in NBA bubble scoring by far, but is also keeping his passing game up as he's the only candidate for bubble MVP in the top five in assists. Yes, the Suns are 8-0, Devin Booker's the driving factor to that. I want to make a separate video on them, but I think Portland's been carried just a bit more by their superstar. To elevate the drastically improved Bubble Blazers into playoff contention against Dallas, Rip City's superstar dropped one of the most shocking shots I've ever seen live, exposed Porzingis in the pick and roll, and made all types of well-contested three-pointers, with defenders terrified that Lillard's going to pull up from deep. Dame's able to bait defenders and then brilliantly maneuver through defenses to score at the rim with his elite finishing as well. Defenders are faced with a serious dilemma because you have to respect his speed and the fact that he's a top slasher in the league, but you also know that Dame can kill you from deep. Whether pulling up off a screen or receiving a handoff, Lillard's balance has clearly been endlessly trained, and now it's ridiculously elite. That's the only way shots like these are falling, I don't have any other answer for it. Additionally, watch how well Dame baits Maxi Kleba into thinking he's attacking the rim. He's well aware that his speed's a massive threat, and subsequently unleashes an unstoppably quick dribble combination into a smooth and again balanced step back deep range bomb. The smooth touch shown off from Dame has been generationally great to witness. Watch these back-to-back -back dominant possessions from him. First, he sells this drive to the basket with a fundamentally sound jab step. The shot's well contested, but Dame's rising up with tons of motivation right now. He still has the focus to knock down the shot, despite the man all over him in the corner. Very next possession, right as he crosses half court, Lillard shows off his potential NBA best three-point range by dropping in an absolute bomb from 30 feet. I was going crazy after this one. In the second half, announcer Kevin Harlan's reaction to this one step in from half court, insane three-point bomb, says everything. Shot by Lillard! Oh my goodness! Oh, oh. That was from this, wow, what a shot! Four points. On Sunday night, I'll make my full predictions. Subscribe for that, but I'm starting to consider picking the fully healthy Blazers over the Lakers in their first round series. There's debatably no team in the league that can score easier than Portland, with a point guard developing a legacy as one of the all-time greats. Melo and Nurkic easing the pressure, giving you 20. Gary Trent playing like a young phenom, and an injured but talented and determined CJ McCollum still capable of getting it done. In terms of the play-in game tomorrow night, I'm predicting Portland ultimately pulls away down the stretch in a tight game against Memphis. For more NBA predictions, stories, and rankings, hit subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. Let me know your predictions for the Bubble Blazers for a chance at next video shout-out and to compete in Community Speaks. My name's Adam. Call me D-Flow. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next video.